everyone, I am Molly. Guangzhou is the birthplace of the maritime Silk Road and it's also known as the Huangpu Ancient Port, which has witnessed the prosperity of the maritime Silk Road with a history of nearly 1,000 years. Let's go and have a look! As soon as I step into the village, I am attracted by an unusual construction, the Fengpu Archway. Actually, Huangpu is called Fengpu in the past. A long time ago, there was a legend that a pair of phoenixes flew here for drinking water. Cantonese natives called the land by the water Pu. As a result, Huangpu village was originally well known as Fengpu village. As time went by, many foreign businessmen pronounced this place as Huangpu instead of Fengpu. Therefore, people nowadays are keen on calling it Huangpu village. Hello everyone, I'm in the Huangpu Encourage Museum, where we can know more about the history of Guangzhou Maritime Silk Road, the 13 Hongshand and the Huangpu Ancient Port. As early as the Southern Song Dynasty, the Huangpu Ancient Port was well known for gathering merchant ships from around the world. After the Ming and Qing Dynasties, Guangzhou gradually became the unique foreign trade port when the Huangpu ancient port entered its most glorious period. All foreign merchant ships must declare the goods at Huangpu ancient port before they were allowed to enter and trade in China. It's recorded that during the period when Guangzhou was the only city that allowed foreign trade, there were more than 5,000 foreign merchant ships moored at Huangpu ancient port. One of the most famous Swedish merchant ships, East India man Kusport had visited Huangpu ancient port three times with silk, tea, porcelain and other goods loaded back every time. Nowadays, walking in the streets of the ancient Huangpu village, you can still feel the glory of the past. Not far away, Guangzhou International Convention and Exhibition Center, Pajo Complex, inherited the prosperity and openness of the ancient port. During the Canton Fair, Chinese and foreign merchants gathered here, continuing the glory of the maritime Silk Road.